Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will guide you about the model. Model is known as the business logic in MVC. It means if you are doing a business, definitely there is a process, and that process is known as the model. Like you have a product and you sell that product. So this is the process and a model. And model is that each seller in your shop will do the same thing as the one is doing like to just sell the product which is available in the stock if you will click here you will view three different model click on account view model to understand its business logic this is the name of the class okay uh, and this is another name of the class Hello. business logic can consist of multiple classes as the user required like in this case it have more than five classes and each class representing a unique model like uh, here external login confirmation model view model which say that here is a simple variable name as email which is able to get and set value it mean when user will write something it execute the get part and when programmatically we will save the value it will known as set part the display name of this attribute is email and it is the essential part in whole application like here we have this and uh, this is the account view model okay uh, i will execute this to understand its logic when application run first time the application goes to the controller and controller hit the model and the model return the value to controller and controller return that value to view now uh, here we have account external login confirmation model so it belongs to the registration part and uh, let me check that here is the solution explorer where is the controller or here are the views In account view model first identify the login or registration form okay uh, here is the remember me so it's not okay so this is the registration register view model which belongs to this form email password and confirm password so here we have a variable email here we have a variable password and here we have a variable confirm password we name it as email password and confirm password when i will change it as like i will stop execution of the project now i will rename that model email and model password model confirm password now execute again and refresh this it will take a time to compile the code and you will observe that the name is get change 
so it's confirmed that the naming convention is coming from this part of the code so in simple scenario a model is a something which is represent on view so the major code is happen in the model part of MVC you have to write each and every business logic the registration form is a problem in which we have one controller view and model model will tell us what kind of information is required and what kind of information will be entered in our database controller tell us how it will be controlled and view will give us the GUI representation I hope this video tutorial is informative for you if you have any kind of question regarding this you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more amazing video tutorial on ASP.NET MVC take care